Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Gaming Weekly Update. This is your host, Kieran. And today I'm going to demonstrate the effects that are on this machine right here called the Go XLR using the Shure SM7B mic. So without any further delay, let's jump straight into this. So first things first, people want to know what effects do I use? Like, how do I do all this? First things first, we'll look through profiles. Basically what this is, when you click on this, it allows you to change the color of your of your mixer, as you can see here. Because like, you can see, like, as you can see, it changes the color here also. I do apologize if I didn't get that on camera, but whatever I see on the actual machine, you can see it on this part as well. So let's say teal blue, for example. So you press teal blue and that will change it to teal blue. Samples basically means it allows you to test record your microphone so you can listen to it back and see if you like the things. And right here is just a couple of presets that they've got. So we will run through that in a bit. So let's jump to this part. And um, it's just in case you've got like different settings for this part, but I, I don't really need to change it. So it's all good. People will be asking me, what are your settings on this thing? How do you get it to work? So first things first, let's look at mic setup. How this part works is that you you pick what type of microphone that you've got. So because this is a dynamic microphone, I have to select dynamic. If you've got a condenser, you would use condenser. And if you've got like one of those microphones that you connect through the jacks, which the jacks are here, by the way, because the back of this, it has a mic input. It has a headphone input, it has a line out. It also, that's the USB port that plug into your PC. That's the power adapter that into your wall and your plug socket. And it's got an optical cable as well. So there was those options. But anyway, because it's a dynamic microphone, I select dynamic. So the way this works here, and um, you're probably hearing me now. Hold on. Yep. You'll probably be able to hear it without the, uh, of the effects. As you can hear, there's a bit of noise. Because it's basically letting you test to see how this sounds like when you're talking into it. So for example... You want to talk into it until this part's green. So say like if you're a quiet speaker, you would want to turn this all the way up. But because I'm quite a loud speaker, th th that's going to clip and I do apologize for that. So for me, it's either 50 or 55. You can also double click onto it and type in 50 like that. I'm doing this one handed as well, so I do apologize. So you got to find the balance right here. So if you are a quiet speaker, you would turn that up. If you're a quiet speaker, you want to turn this up. If you're a loud speaker, you want to keep it balanced, so either low or super low. So that's what I have. At. I have it at 50 on the dynamic mic because this is a Shure SM7B. So because we got that, let's have a look at the effects that we've got here. And the well, not the effects, but the settings. So this is my noise gate settings. So you can see 53, minus 53, 69. Don't get any ideas. I know it says 69, but let's not let's not get into that. 10 milliseconds and 100 milliseconds. So for threshold, minus 53. Attenuation is 69%. Attack is 10 milliseconds and release is 100 milliseconds. It has different ways of how it responds and stuff. So as you can hear, hardly any background noise at all. So 10 second pause. Hardly a thing that you can hear besides my voice. So we've looked at the noise gate. So let's go to equalizer. So these control like the bass and the volume of your voice here and there. So following along, we've got this set to minus two, this set to four, four, minus two, minus two, zero, zero, three, six, nine. Okay, so there's that. Now, compressor, that's the one that really makes the magic happen. Because you know that volume thing that I said that we looked at with the mic settings at the back here? The compressor, basically what this does, it compresses all the audio files depending how quiet you speak and how loud you speak to help it not clip, but still able to hear you if you're talking quietly. So if I talk quietly now, if I talk quietly right now, even if I whisper, you'll still be able to hear me. And if I talk really loud, so uh, kind of like that, then it won't bring the volume up so high that it starts clipping the microphone. So 
that's basically what compressor has. It's what, what it's for. So right here, it's 25 decibels. This here is 5.6, whatever that symbol is, one. The attack is two milliseconds. The release is 25 milliseconds and the makeup gain is 15 decibels. So, yep. Okay, now let's look through this, for example. This is called the de -esser. What the de does, your S sounds like if you were pr pronouncing it like Sam or Samuel or Sally. You know, like the loud S. So say like this was off, for example. S you can hear that is really loud. So I put that to minus... Not, not minus. Uh, I put that to 50 because... As you can hear, that makes a huge bit. You don't want it too much because it sounds way too unnatural when it's up too high. So not too... Well, I mean, you can keep this off if you want to because um, sometimes you might want to sound so natural, but sometimes the s sounds get a little annoying for them. So that's basically what the DSO does. It takes your S sounds and it changes the volume as you put the numbers higher. So it'll make my S sounds quieter. Especially like if you're like a person that speaks with a lisp, you've got that strong th, you've got that strong th type sound. It's It helps those type of people with, with them. So this here is like the effects. So like, I'm, I, I do apologize, I'm not really familiar with these because I didn't really fiddle about this part too much. But from what I understand, is that the volume selector switch, as you can see here, right here, that is to change the volume depending what it's for. So you've got the microphone. So say for example, I I press this button. I actually said you're not going to be able to hear me. So there's that. So so this one's set to mic. So as you can hear, I get very quiet and I get very loud. This one here is for music, say like if you've got this connected to Spotify or whatever, you can change the music volume with this. This one is voice chat, so say like you're on Discord or Skype or something, then you can quiet, you can set the loudness to have them louder or quiet. So I don't have them right now. So, and this one here is for system. So for example, if you use the Go XLR and you set this as the, as the audio output for the PC or whatever you've connected it to, that controls the volume for it. So say like you were playing a video game, for example, like if the game's too loud, you could turn the game down. If it's too quiet, just turn it up. That's very handy if you're playing on live stream and stuff. I don't really use it because um, when when I live stream, I especially if I use this as a GoXLR, it's good that you can hear it, but I can also hear myself and that's kind of distracting for me. So I test the audios off stream before I actually go to do it. So that's not really a huge deal for me, but it's a good thing if you don't mind listening to yourself at the same time. So um, you've also got other volumes for other things as well. So you've got the bleep volume, which is um, the bleep is um, this button here. What that does, say like if I was saying a swear word, for example, like holy shit, what the f is going on here? You can actually press that and it sets off some beep sounds. So it goes, holy shit, what the fuck is going on here? I don't fucking believe this. So it does stuff like that. So it's very nice to have. This button here, what this does, it's a mute button. So if you hold it down, if you hold it, it temporarily mutes your microphone. So I speak to you one minute and I'm going to say A, B, C, L, M, N, O, P. So that's what that does. It's basically the same as this, that mute button. It just, it's just a quick one. So hold it. This one, you have to hold it. So that's what that does. What these are, this thing here. The ABC at the side here. What this does, say like you want to have a sound like that you recorded. So hold it and you go hacks, full of hacks, right? Let's say, and then you let go of it. And that will repeat that sound that you've just recorded. So it will go like this. Hacks, full of hacks, right? I can even go. <laughs> and to delete that, you can also press clear, which is the middle button here. The middle button right there 
and then you select whatever one you want to delete. So I'm going to delete those for now because I don't really use it. I mean, it's good if you want to use it, but I mean, I'm, I don't really do that. So now that we've done that, um, let's go to the effects. This is the fun part that people want to see. Right. Um, first things first, we'll go to... Basically what 1 to 6 does is if you've got a preset effect that you've got on your mixer, you can select it to that effect at any time you like. The purpose of this video, however, this is just to demonstrate all these effects. So let's go ahead and have some fun with this. So for example, let's make sure that this button here is active as well. So you want to press that, make sure that's active because if it's not active, you're not going to get any effects at all. So without any further delay, let's jump straight into the fun. So and want to make sure this is turned up as well so you can actually hear it. So, so right now I haven't got it active. So if I put it on now, music club reverb. So welcome to the club. Are you ready for some fun? That's your music club effect. So let's go to this one. This is the real plate. So real plate reverb. There is the real plate. Real plate, real plate. As you can hear, it's quite it's quite an echoey one. So, yep. So chapel. This is meant to simulate like you're in a church or something. So, so it's like, oh Lord, please bless us with this holy union, with our baby getting baptized, or these people getting married, in holy matrimony, like that kind of thing. So you've also got hockey arena. So you get to mimic like you're in the hockey arena, like, like. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the hockey games. So this is the finals of winning the championship round. Welcome to hockey. He shoots it straight into the puck. Well, he shoots the puck and it goes straight into that basket. Something like that. You know what I mean? It's been years since I've played hockey, but yep, that's the hockey arena effect. Very cool stuff. The next one we're going to look at is Echo. So Echo ones are quite fun. So let's turn that up about 50 so this is triplet so the triplet uh, echo will sound like this triplets that's the triplet echo next one we've got ping pong ping pong i i'm just being silly with this now so ping pong that's the ping pong effect. So now let's go to classic slap. 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 Slappy slap. slap. It's quite a fast echo, this one. So so we just go slap. 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 Something like that. So, so that's, that's classic, classic slap. slap. So let's go to multi tap. Multi tap. Multi -tap. Boom. 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 You know it's you know all it's about all the about boom. boom. That's your multi-tap effect. <laughs> okay, this is where the fun part comes in. The difference between narrow and wide, narrow only lets you drop it by 12, while wide lets you drop it by 24. So be wary of that. If you, do, if you don't want to drop it a huge amount, just leave it on narrow. That will keep it at 12. If you want to drop it by a huge amount, you go to wide. So let's just look at wide for now. So as you can hear, it's still my natural voice, as you can hear speaking right now. If I turn the pitch down. Oh, I forgot to turn the echo off. <laughs> that was my mistake. Anyway, as you can hear, it's coming down so far down. So you got this demon voice, this demon voice that you speak with. I want to play a game so you can sound like Jigsaw from Saw. So it goes all the way down to 12, all the way down. You want to be careful with that though because the deeper it goes So I wouldn't really recommend that one but yeah it's quite nice that they even include that but if you go the opposite way you can start to hear that my voice is getting more high pitched So I start sounding more like a chipmunk 
That is bad. <laughs> that is very bad. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad, but it's... Oh, that goes a huge amount. Okay, so here is gender. Medium, wide. So wide, it allows you to drop down by 50. With medium, it allows you to drop by 25. With narrow, it drops by 12. So you want to hear the, the full range though. So let's put this back up to zero for now. Always remember to turn this on. Because you won't get the effect. So I done that same mistake. So anyway, turn it down. It's the same pitch, but it's making my voice sound deeper. So you keep going down, keep going down, down, down. The further you go down, the more deeper your voice gets. So it makes me sound more manly, more heroic. This heroic figure who is going to rescue the damsel in distress. So yeah. I am the superhero, Captain Lochran. <laughs> Something like that. It can go all the way down to minus 50. Luke, I am your father. <laughs> you can get some really good effects of that. Same thing going up. Same, same pit, same key. It just changes the pitch. So I start to sound a little more feminine as it goes up. So, yep. Yeah. So I, I hey yeah yeah. So you keep going up. Ooh, my voice is. I sound weird as a female. This is so weird. Well, I, I'm starting to sound more like a chipmunk now. And um yeah. I I don't want to say what else I sound like because that might sound a little too rude for the audience. <laughs> Let's go to megaphone effect. Megaphone. The buttons here for megaphone. At the top right here, as you can see, right there. Make sure you press that to activate it. So, megaphone. As you can hear, that's me doing the radio voice. So, for example, like, you know when you have to hear a favorite song on the radio and then they go like, Hello, this is Heart 106.2, only on radio. Something like that. And you've got another effect here, which is called on the phone. So, say like, you answer the phone to somebody and they go, play a game I, or something like that right. I'm here to call you from the hospital so because I heard that um, you've got appendicitis so you need to get those appendix out you know something like that like it's, it's, it's pretty much to simulate like how you would sound on the phone so pretty much so be wary of this mic uh, headphone alert like this might sound a little too loud this is the overdrive effect the overdrive, it kind of makes your voice a little distorted. So, yeah. Um, so, the, st uh, the overdrive. And the next effect on our list is called... The buzz cut. It's kind of like a distorted effect. It's a distorted effect, but I'm not sure what they're supposed to simulate it. But it's a nice little effect overall. And this is the tweed sound effect. So, we got tweed. A nice little tweed effect here. And yeah, again, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that's supposed to affect. Okay, now we've got some fun ones here. This is the robot. So again, like like here, make sure you've got robot active. So once that's on, I am a robot. Come with me if you want to live. And um, robot two. Come with me if you want to live. I am from the future. I am from Cyberpunk 2077. And more robotic. No. I am Bicentennial Man. I am the Terminator. I am Robocop. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. You get some really cool stuff with this. <laughs> with um hard tune, that's basically to simulate the... You know the effect that Cher does, like for the song Believe? So it's pretty much, it's pretty much it's like, you got the natural one. So it's, I've been sitting here, trying to find myself, get behind myself, need to rewind myself. So it gets strong, but it's, oh, sometimes it gets a little crazy, 
because you sing in key, but then the auto tune like kind of throws you, your voice off key for some reason. I don't know why it does that. So again, we'll do a hard one. It sounds like I've been sitting here trying to find myself, get behind myself, need to rewind myself. If you're wondering what that song is that I'm singing, that's um, Only God Knows Why by Kid Rock. As much as I would like to sing Shares Believe, I've done that so many times on my live stream yesterday as with um Super Mario Sunshine, but yeah, uh, I just thought I'd sing a different tune that I know has auto-tune in it. But yeah, um, I guess that's more or less covers it. All right, so these are basically just to let you know the banks, like which effect has what. The cough, I'm not sure what that does. I'm actually not sure what that. This one here, this is, um, this allows you to make your custom color for the panels and stuff. That here, the arenas, I'm not sure what that does. Like I said, I haven't really looked at the manuals. So this here, like for the mic volume and for the chat volume, the music volume in the game, that basically... When you select these, I believe that is to that is to control what it what it controls. So system is basically your tutorial, the help and support, software update, tells you all about it, the third party info, analytics, global settings, you know, stuff like that. And um yeah, I guess that concludes this video. And um the one thing people will get concerned about, people will be like, Kieran. Don't you need a cloud lifter like to power the Shure SM7B? In case you, in, if you don't know what a cloud lifter is, it's it's basically a preamp that you connect to your microphone into the mixer, and it um it boosts your gain up to about 25 decibels. And um with the Go XLR, you don't actually need it because, as far as I know, the Go XLR is more than powerful enough to do it to to power this microphone. And before you naysayers be like, oh, how do we know you haven't secretly got a cloud lifter connected to this? Okay, then I'll prove it to you. So with this, this is where the microphone is connected to the, the cable right here. That's the start of the cable. So we'll follow this cable and it's a 20 foot long cable that I've got here. So as you can see, I'm still holding it. So you can see I'm not tampering with this. So I'm going to prove to you that I have not got a cloud lifter connected to this. See, I'm still holding it. Still holding it, not tampering with anything. Oh, it's got caught in something. So let me just thingy that. It's tied around the chair. There we go. See, as you can see, I'm still holding it. I'm still holding it. As you can see, I'm not tampering with anything. So, this is the end of it. So if I put my mixer up, you can see it's connected here. So there is no cloud lifter connected to this. So, now that I've proven to you that there's no cloud lifter, that proves that you do not need a cloud lifter if you've got the Go XLR. Because, like I said, the Go XLR is more than enough to power this, so no cloud lifters needed. So, I guess that concludes this video. So, thank you so much for watching, and as per usual, if you liked what you've seen, please like, comment, and subscribe, and remember to hit that bell if you want to see any more videos or any more live streams that we produce on this channel. I have been Kieran of Gaming Weekly Update, and we will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.